What's up guys, welcome back to Huffman Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to watchOS, well, I'll be happy to let you know that the next beta has finally been released today for developers. So here on my Apple Watch Ultra, shout out to the new watch face that came with watchOS 10.3. If you don't know, this one is available, but if we go into the settings of our device and then go to general and go to software update, you can see this is watchOS 10.4 beta 3 and for me this update comes in at exactly 319 megabytes updating from watchOS 10.4 beta 2 it's a pretty reasonably update size that's common and if you are curious to see some other updates that Apple released today you can see that in addition to watchOS 10.4 beta 3 they also released vision OS 1.1 beta 2 alongside tvOS 17.4 beta 3 we have Mac OS 14.4 beta 3 and iPad OS along iOS 17.4 beta 3. Most of these updates I actually do cover here on the channel so if you haven't subscribed definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Something that's pretty cool on the Apple Watch as you can see here you know I've already downloaded the update but in order to install I still need to connect it to a charger even though it's over 80% and my maximum health percentage is pretty good so hopefully with time see Apple changing this at least for devices that have pretty good battery health and that are charged at least maybe above 50% because it's kind of an inconvenience when you charge your device and then you put it on oh and then you realize that there's a watch OS update and now you have to take it off and put it to the charger in order to install the update but let me do that and then we'll see what's new boom so just like that and now my device is up to date if we go into settings and then go to general and go to about you can see the new build number that we have it's 21t5202e so it ends with an e and previously we came from an e so in terms of stability there might not be a lot going on but the good thing is that this update does provide some minor changes so the first one that i want to show you here is because a number of people have requested this you can see on this beta this specific beta i have this blood oxygen app and if i actually took a few readings before doing this but if i cancel it and then start again you'll be able to see that it's uh, still holding and I, i'm able to get my blood oxygen measurement so we'll let it count down and then you'll be able to see let me just keep as steady as possible so boom 95 so should be slightly higher than that but you can see that i still have this and it's working and since we are talking about health and heart rate i'll be happy to let you know that with this update and starting tomorrow you can see here apple has mentioned that um, this is a mac rumor post that they found and you can see apple heart month activity challenge launch launches on valentine's day and you can see you can compete in different heart challenges and then you'll be able to win these stickers or these uh, prizes you can see we have three levels and then there's this other month and then it mentions that apple often provides different themed contents in the app store and apple tv so it does not end there as steve moser over on twitter actually provided some updates to some of the new icons that you might expect to see when you are using your devices especially this february you can see this one and then this other one but i haven't been able to find those myself so for health this is a good thing because if you go into your health and then you go to browse and go to heart and if you click where it says cardio fitness and go down a little bit you'll be able to learn more about cardio fitness and you'll be able to see different challenges starting tomorrow because the apple vision pro device is now available and users are actually using it and you to use it you need to use your thumb and index finger to be able to pull on stuff and tap on stuff as well so because of that apple has made further adjustments to this so if you have an apple watch series 9 or apple watch ultra 2 and you go into your settings and you look for where it says gestures right Right here well since this is the apple watch ultra one you won't be able to see this but you see an option that says apple vision pro and that has been updated because the wording before used to just say vision pro and now it's under a subsection that says apple vision pro where you can avoid these gestures so that you don't 
mistakenly press or misuse your apple vision pro okay there's minor improvements too when it comes to shazam because with music recognition there's been different chord changes within the os and then the pulsing seems more rapid and then this wave seems to be going more outward so if you use shazam then this is something that you might want to check out now speaking of music on the apple watch since with watch OS 10 we got this interactive widget section that basically changes depending on what you have on your calendar or your activities for the day and the different apple devices that you can approach if you approach a home port device the widget or the apple music widget will most likely be the one that you see on top and the code of the latest betas that were recently released seems to reference a home port device that has a screen that you be able to interact with so keep an eye out for that and um, if you are a person that uses your devices a lot then this is something that you could be able to then hand off from your apple watch to your home port device or thanks to continuity other changes that this update has to offer well you can see it introducing some new emojis right here you can see shaking of heads different direction we also have different food emojis as well that you can be able to interact with and a good thing about this is that it doesn't end there because some icons too that were existing have been updated in the family section so this is something that you can always check out and then if you are a person that uses siri and you are in germany well i'll be happy to let you know that this is now available where you don't have to say the hey siri full phrase but you can now just say siri and if you're in germany this is now a setting that's available for you and you can toggle this on and siri also has the ability to listen and read messages in different alternative languages which are other which are different from that which you have set in terms of the release notes for watch os 10.4 beta 3 if we go here in top here you can see basically they just repasted the watch os 10.4 beta 2 notes so if you're coming from that same beta you can see the same api improvements and store kits as well as a few resolved issues here are more or less the same so apple doesn't really tell us much when it comes to watch os but i'll be happy to let you know that i've been using this watch os 10.4 from the first beta and up to now i'm pretty happy with the battery per performance that i've been getting and if in case you're curious and you want to see my battery health for some reason it seems to be a little bit slow when it selecting the things but you can see still on 97 percent when, when i started testing this beta it was on 97 percent and the release of this update is pretty soon approaching so right here if we go back you can see today is the 13th but if next week on the 20th apple releases the rc version then we can somehow expect this update to be released on the 26th but then if we do end up having a next beta which will most likely be a beta 4 then this will be delayed and we might be released first week of march now other than that guys that's about it for me when it comes to this watch os 10.4 beta let me know what you think about this video and uh, if you are thinking of upgrading and you're already on watch os 10.4 betas it wouldn't really hurt for you to update to this next beta that's now available so far things have been smooth with the update and uh, let me know what you think about this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace